know, certainly, uh, first and foremost, uh, just, you know, really proud of our, our players, their effort. Uh, happy for them to get the victory today. Uh, couldn't have got off to a much worse start. Uh, you know, th those guys took the ball right down the field on us, got a touchdown, and then we uh, drove, drove it out there, midfield, a little pass, I think, and, and then, uh, you know, that punt, obviously, Torrey didn't play baseball in Australia. And, uh, you know, it'd be great if the snap was a little bit better, too. So it was just a really, you know, kind of a sinking feeling over there. Defense came in and got a stop there and uh, put it down 10 nothing. But that, that's hardly the way anybody wants to start a football game. And then just, uh, you know, a huge spark play by Charlie after that. Uh, that was something LeVar Woods thought we might be able to, uh, you know, might be able to execute. Uh, I think they'd only given up four returns or had four returns against them this year because that kicker is so good. So, you know, just a real credit to, to LeVar and then also uh, Charlie with his execution. And the guys did a good job blocking. So that really kind of got us back in the game. But you know, just in a nutshell, we, we knew they would come in here uh, ready to go. The uh, last two times on the road, they've beaten good teams in their stadiums. Um, they've been playing good good football in general and good defense in the Big Ten. So we uh, a lot of respect for them and, and certainly knew, you know, just playing November football wasn't going to be easy. And, you know, it's exactly the way it played out. So, you know, good way for our seniors to finish out their careers here in Kinnick. That was really special for them to get the victory. You hate to have it go any other way. And, you know, uh, it just seemed like there was, it was a game of missed opportunities in a lot of ways. A lot of things that we left out there, uh, we weren't clean enough. Uh, the example I gave you right there is, is certainly part of that. You know, in the passing game, we dropped, I thought, it seemed like at least three balls. And I don't know if they were perfect throws, but, uh, you know, when you, when you don't make those catches and, you know, keep the chains going. It just, uh, you know, everything just felt kind of herky jerky there. So, anyway, but the good news is I think we ran the ball a little bit more effectively. I felt like our line has gained ground the last three weeks, uh, both in practice and the three games. Um, and I think that's helped us move forward as a football team, uh, get off the mat after those two losses as well. And then certainly the uh, special teams, you know, we missed some opportunities, like I just mentioned. Um, had a chance for a plus 50 punt there in the second half, down it down in there and couldn't do it. But then conversely, a lot of, a lot of really good things out there too. And you know, all three specialists, I think overall did a good job. Charlie, that's uh, pretty obvious. Caleb has just been fantastic and, and today was no exception there. And then Tori did a good job uh, uh, with the punt game. So happy about that. Uh, obviously thrilled to be nine and two right now. Uh, still one big game and in, in, uh, left in here in November. It's a short week, so. Uh, just like the last three games, imagine it's going to be a tough challenge. But uh, you know, we'll turn our sights to that tomorrow morning. But enjoy the victory right now. Most importantly, I'll throw it out for questions. So now is Alex officially your starter? Now that he started when Spencer was healthy. <laughs> well, officially today he was. Yeah, absolutely. That's why he was a guy out there. And and you know we assessed it during the course of the week. Um, just you know, I think it makes common sense. And we'll talk about it tomorrow. And then. Keep pushing for it, but I feel really like I did uh, last week or two weeks ago that we got two guys we can win with. Now we have confidence in, so we'll you know we'll take a look at it and go from there. You're nine and two, six and two in the Big Ten with offensive numbers that would indicate not good things. How have you done this? It, you know, it, it's not as easy as just saying you know it's similar to 04, but it is kind of similar to 04 and. Um, like I said a couple of weeks ago, you know, dream, dream season is you get to mesh the offensive 02 and the defensive 04 together. But th I think, you know, the, the real common bond there is that we, we find a way to win, and that's still what the game's about. You know, you can talk about style points, and that's important at some point maybe. But uh, to me, it's about trying to find a way to be successful, whatever the given situations are. And in football, it's hard to predict what that's going to be. Uh, I think most of our challenges have been fairly um, – Predictable. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, at least when I look at it and analyze it, I, I can see where our, our issues were going to be and uh, what our challenges would be. And I think we're growing. And um, you know, start again, just you know, with not having shot and ends full speed at the start of the season. I think that you can just kind of do the math on that whole thing. But seeing growth during the course of the year, um, you know, seeing a lot of growth with a lot of guys, and you know, hopefully we'll just keep keep pushing it forward. But the bottom line is try to find a way to win. Win, be successful each and every week, and that's that's easier said than done. So, you know, kicking games, special teams, those things all factor in. As I just mentioned, start start with the three specialists. Uh, we want to talk about Charlie, Caleb, and um, uh, you know, Tori. That's a pretty good start for us, no question. What's the status of Matt Higgins and Jack Hunter? Yeah, so 
you know, you, you guys saw Matt come out for the introduction. Uh, it might be two years before we get him back. We may have to petition the NCAA, which reminds me of one. I got another one for you on the NCAA. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, it looks like we're, we've got a ways to go. And, and you know, Jack tried to go. Uh, you know, he practiced yesterday, limped around a little bit and tried to go today, but just can't. So hopefully we'll get him back next week. Matt, you know, we're probably looking at a, a little time here on that one. Terry be back next week? Hopefully, Terry. Um, you know, it's a bone bruise, and they're just the one thing I've learned is they're hard to hard to put a uh, you know temperature gauge on. So, I think he's really close. He seemed encouraged yesterday, but you know, not, it would help to get him back. That would be a good thing for us. You joked on Tuesday that you know the kickoff return unit probably would be taking a week off. But yeah. were you surprised? I guess when the ball was at the line and Charlie Jones. Yeah, absolutely. Line, yeah, uh, really surprised, and because. What I said is true. I think it's four four returns uh, that they've had to defend. So yeah, we just kind of you know practiced this week, but it was practice to practice, and uh, you know thank goodness we practiced it because uh, the first one wasn't much, but uh, you know it kind of gave us a look at the way they were covering. They, they covered uh, the way we thought, and then you know the next challenge is can we execute the uh, the you know the return out to the field? And the guys did a great job. So th those are little things that help you be successful. You know when you can get a play like that. Uh, boy, it sure helps. You, got, you seem to have a lot of success with your inside zone today, and a lot of that, at least from my eyes, seemed to be your center helping yep. with that. Sure. Um, yeah. What was? The, am, am I seeing the right thing? And then yeah, how, you are. how instrumental is is sixty five and that play and all the others for that matter? Yeah, and it, it's kind of interesting because you know you go into you have a game plan and you know you got a couple of runs in there, but. Um, just never know what it's going to look like until you get out there on the field and uh, go. But yeah, you're no question. Tower Tower had a really critical role today, uh, and the way they play defense, he's covered basically every play. Now they started shifting around a little bit uh, into the game once we, we found uh, some things that were working, maybe. But uh, run or pass, he was covered. And I, you know, I just kind of said you're going to be bored this week because you're going to be blocking the same guy every play, basically. But not Tower did a really great job, and he's you know that's just who he is. He's a really good player in the. My only um, uh, moment of concern with him was that, you know, he and somebody else got into it a little bit after one of those plays right in front of our bench. And I'm um, really not interested in making a one-for-one -one trade with him being one of the guys uh, involved. So that was probably the most drama that, uh, that we had with him today. You guys, honestly, like, where would you honestly be without him this year, given everything that's happened with him? Oh, that would be really interesting. Yeah, really interesting. And it's um, – you know, not only is he playing well, but he's also setting the bar for everybody else in the room. And, and the group is a really good group. These guys are all working hard. Um, and, and I'm just glad to see some growth now because, you know, it's, it's frustrating when you're working hard and you don't see that, get to experience some success. And the numbers aren't dramatic, but I, th I think we're gaining ground right now in that there's just a feel to it also. Like, you know, maybe we can start doing some things here. So I'm, I'm optimistic and, uh, you know, still got football in front of us. So. Nothing, nothing like pushing forward. How helpful is it to have Caleb hitting all those field goals where you can rely on him as much as you can? No, oh, it's 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 a luxury, you know. And the same same way with Tori. I mean, you got two guys there, and then Charlie, you know. And with Charlie, you love the roller coaster a little bit because you know, you know, he may end up doing some things that's like, oh, okay, here we go. But you know, it's it's like a baseball guy or whatever. Sometimes you gotta, you know, live with some uh, other stuff too. But. Caleb has just been so steady and just so reliable. And it was probably stupid to try that last field goal before half, but figured, you know, who knows, maybe he'd hit it. And uh, but the dumb part was now we gave them the ball. Our defense, you know, shut the shut the door on that one. Uh, but yeah, he's just been he's been so good. He's just really a good player. Staying struggled and third down. Rush defense the last few weeks had a, a turnaround performance today. Rushing the ball and on third down. What did you see today differently that maybe what happened in the last few weeks? I don't know if it's any one thing, but just, you know, uh, outside of that first first drive, you know, we, we, we kind of clamped down a little bit and started playing better and, com you know, compete a little bit more. And, um, you know, so it was really, really good. And I think we only really had one really disappointing play. They were coming off the uh, south end zone or out of that south end zone and hit one in front of our bench. And that was, you know, deep ball. That was kind of tough. But otherwise, I, I didn't see us giving up anything easy until, the, you know, until the bomb squad got in there. And that was a little different. And, you know, exciting. Did you uh, see from Quinn in his first game playing significant snaps? Yeah, really, really proud of him. You know, not not surprised because he really, as you might imagine, is really a serious guy, former high school quarterback, and just he, he's worked hard. So you know, he stepped in and allowed us to keep keep doing the things we want to do, and 
Uh, so, you know, it was either Dane and uh, Kayvon back there or else if Dane was down, then Quinn was in there. And he played a lot of snaps today, did a good job. And I'm glad he uh, they pulled that targeting penalty off because that would have, you know, you don't want to lose a guy next week. Was it chippier than normal out there? And did you have to say something to the guys, maybe at halftime or something, say, hey, be careful? Yeah, it just, it just reminded our guys to, you know, it's, it's you don't want to get a foul. First of all, you don't want to get a foul, and you certainly don't want to get ejected. So just let's, you know, just play football. And, yeah, it was, you know, it's a hotly contested game, all that stuff, so it's going to happen sometimes. If, if, coming in, if you would have said you guys would have been 20, allowed them 25 rushes for 64 yards, you would have felt probably pretty yeah, good. Yeah, no question. But uh, does it kind of surprise you in some ways that they still put up 23, I mean, in a game like this? Uh I mean, you know, I don't know. It's just I'm glad we got the 63 uh, yards, that part. Um, and it, I, you know, I said it the other day, I really – I think that back's a really good player and their line blocks well. So that that was good and certainly a big change from last year – or last week, excuse me. And then, yeah, I think, you know, I think overall the guys really did a good job defensively. And the, the 23 take that last seven. I, I know they count. I'm not discounting that, but – it's like the seven up. I mean, I'll tell you, when we put the bomb squad in, look out. I don't know which drive was faster, the Minnesota game last year or this one, but look out. Like, they're, you know, it's going to be a teaching tape on that one. Was there something schematically that you saw to stop the run as well as you did, uh, especially after last week? I, I don't think so. I think, you know, it's a little different attack the way they do things. But, no, it just we played better. Starts up front, you know, playing a little bit better leverage and attacking the line a little bit better. And then, you know, closing down on the back a little quicker too. So I, I thought the guys from where I was standing, they did a pretty good job. What was going through your two mind? more? Yeah. I'm sorry. What was going through your mind during that Jack Campbell pick six? <laughs> that was the funniest play in the game, only because I, you guys could see how torn he was. Right? He didn't know go down, go score, and you know, I mean. Believe me, he's apologizing in the uh, locker room, and it's it's kind of like, hey, Jack, that's okay. Uh, and I was cheering for him to score, actually, even though it's, it might not be the smart play. But uh, no, it's just funny. It was funny, and you know what he does never surprised me. He's a really good football player and a better better young man. When you look at the the receivers, uh, I think there was six drops today. Yeah. Um, I guess how do you address that, and how <laughs> how can you? I'm sure that it gets cut to you know, five by five. You know, it's kind of like those games where you have 10 penalties or 12 penalties. There's no penalty drill or a turnover drill, but it, it really gets down to concentration and fundamentals usually. And yeah, I'm not sure why today, but, um, you know, I mean, yeah, it's just it's concentration and, you know, hopefully we get that corrected. It hasn't really been a problem, so hopefully we get that corrected. And, you know, but that will help us have better flow and tempo and, it's hard, hard to have tempo when you're making those kinds of errors that, you know, convertible first down and then you know, you're punting the ball next thing. So it looks like Nebraska, Wisconsin won. So okay. um, I, I know that uh, your mind is on the Nebraska yeah. game this week. And how do, you guys, how do you keep your guys focused, you know, in this short week? I, I can't speak for our players. In my emotional level right now didn't tweak or drop when you just said that. And I didn't know the score. Uh, but. Yeah, we can't worry about that. We got to worry about a tough opponent Friday, and that, that's as simple as that. And uh, I don't know what the score is, but I'm assuming it's pretty close because I did hear it was tied at one point. And I know this. I mean, Nebraska and they played must have played a heck of a game today because uh, Wisconsin's playing well. So you know they're a tough out, and you know we've had nothing but tough games with them. So that's you know all, all we can worry about is, is trying to win Saturday or Friday, excuse me, and then uh, watching everybody else work on Saturday. So that right now we're going to enjoy this one, and then we're. Yeah, moving on to that next game. All right. Thanks, okay, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.